Good morning. This is Trish Kelly with Australian Labradoodles Midwest Connection. I'm here with the, one of the trainers, Terry, and her daughter, Julia. And Julia is going to assist me today. Uh, pretty many of you know I have a, <laughs> had surgery on my arm, on my hand, so it's just easier for somebody to help me with the videos right now. This is Anna and Bentley's litter. They were born on June 15th. And you can just see the this was little Brandy that had just walked over and went potty on the paper. They're doing fantastic with um, getting off the little sleeping area here and walking over and going on the paper. And that's part of what we do is the beginning house um, house training. So once they get a little older, they'll be taken outside to go potty. So we're doing really well with that, and it's a it's a nice thing to see. They're all pretty sleeping here. They are eating life's abundance gruel, which is life's abundance with hot water. It turns into a mush form, and that's what they're fed. We're slowly weaning them as Anna is. So in another week, they'll be on the hard kibble life's abundance all stages brand. And if that's something you'd be interested in picking up um, for the future, you get an extra year on your health guarantee if you purchase it through my website, and then I get a copy of the receipt. So I'm going to go through each puppy here with Julia's assistant holding them up. I hope this video is going to work. The last couple of them have been a little dark, so we're taking this at a different angle. The first puppy is Sammy with the orange collar. Sammy's our little male, or not so little, but this is Sammy. Um, very beautiful coat. Oh my gosh, nice, nice big yawn there. Nice fleece coat, a little bit wavy. You can see the little bit of a wave coming into his coat. Just adorable. Let me see Sammy's face again. Uh, both eyes are open. Just a beautiful, healthy, chunky puppy. And um, the coats are to die for on here. Very stocky, blocky bodies. And just what I'm trying to breed for is more of that Labradoodle look, but the non-shedding, allergy-friendly coat. So that's Sammy. <laughs> okay, the next puppy is Brandy. Brandy used to have a white collar on, which she outgrew, and now she's in the only she's the only girl. She, well, I shouldn't say that. She has a pink collar on. She's one of the girls, but she has a pink collar on. So that's our adorable Brandy. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. These video, this close up here. Brandy is just as sweet as can be. Eyes open. And uh, she wants to get down, and th this is the week they really start transitioning to moving and walking and getting into a little mischief with each other. They start mouthing each other, and just uh, it's, a, it's a really cute week transition. So the collars are a little big on them, but they'll grow into them by the end of this week. So again, this was Brandy. Okay, and then the next one is Delilah. We switched her from a, a, a lime green to a teal. So she's got, it, it, it's probably will come up a different color. It might come up blue on the video, but it's a teal collar, uh, colored collar. So this is our uh, Delilah. <laughs> Again, absolutely stunning. She is so cute. Delilah has got a gorgeous, nice, thick red coat, as all of them do. Nice stop and uh, non-shedding, allergy-friendly, all the things that we're breeding for. And just, just a great face, great look to her. She's just checking things out here. <laughs> so again, that's Delilah. And the other purple collared puppy is, uh, or the purple collared puppy, there's only one of them, was up for adoption. And it appears she, he has a home. I, am, I should get the application and deposit in the mail today, I'm hoping and um, then he will uh, be officially sold. So I have a family very interested in him. Absolutely gorgeous, light red color, little bit of a wave as you can see to the ears, and uh, just a beautiful, beautiful puppy. And I got a lot of inquiries on him, but I had one family that actually pulled the trigger and he is most likely going to be theirs and I'll have a name for him by the next video, I would assume. And then the last two puppies are the ones I'm holding back from this litter. I have Maverick, which is the male. And Maverick is right here. They've got a name for him now. Love the name Maverick. He is stunning. See the little bit of white blotch on his chest. Cute little pup. 
waiting to see if he's got anything to say here. Sometimes they'll let out a, oh, is he ever dark? He is gorgeous. We'll see if he does a yawn or anything. Get the, there we go. There's Maverick. Everybody's just waking up. One toe is tipped in the back there that you can see that's white. Otherwise, beautiful, slight wave to his coat, beautiful fleece coat. And non-shedding again. And this is our Maverick. Dark, dark colors, and I'm just thrilled with that. So after Maverick, the last one, and she's still available to go into a guardian home. Oh, you can see these two here wrestling a little bit. Let me just video that for a minute. Once they get up, it's like, okay, playtime. That last little girl um, that's still available, I don't have a name for. Oh, wait, I'm calling, actually, actually I've been nicknaming her Paisley. She's stunning. I'm still hoping to find the perfect guardian family that lives close to me. I live in Oconomowoc. Anywhere in the Lake Country area is going to work for me. I like to keep them within 30 minutes of me. And... Um, this puppy is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I've had a few inquiries, but things didn't work out with distance, and I, I'm pretty particular about keeping my puppies close to me um, that are in my guardian program. And the guardian program is basically you raise this beautiful puppy as your own, you name it, unless you wanted to keep Paisley, that's totally your call. And um, at uh, her second heat cycle, or at about a year and a half to two years, she's bred for the first time, and then four litters will be produced by her. Then legally, I sign ownership over to you, and you have her for the rest of your life. So she does come to me for about four to five weeks or so after she has a litter, four to five weeks, and then she... Um, once the puppies are weaned, she goes back by her family, her guardian family. Happens four times in a row, and then we're done, and the contract is finished. So it's a great way for somebody to get a puppy for basically free. Um, so that's Paisley, and she's just adorable with the four little white paws and a dark red coat. Just stunning. So if you're interested in her, please uh, contact me at uh, trishasdoodles at gmail.com, or my phone is 262 623 seven six seven zero so i'll just let you watch these guys play for a minute julia thank you so much for your help with assisting she's just um been wonderful helping take care of this litter with her mom terry so we'll just watch them for a second here interact and uh, they're just really getting their sea legs they just started drinking the water too and that's a good thing julia if you want to take one take them over there and let them let them taste the water. At this age, we kind of just, just gently tip their nose into the water and let them, t let them get a taste of it. And at some point, they, they go, hmm, and then they start drinking up knowing that they're thirsty. So uh, that's Brandy over there in the pink collar. Yeah, just take each one. That's great, Julia. So it gets them a, a little bit of an idea that there's, there's something here that's, that fulfills a need when they're thirsty so it's slowly they're getting used to going over and drinking and that's Sammy the orange one there that Julia's got and these guys are just going to town wrestling away if you can see that okay These puppies are all going to be microchipped, vet checked, wormed three times, age appropriate vaccination. They go home with a two year health guarantee. If you choose to use the Life's Abundance dog food, you get an extra year on your health guarantee through me, through my website. If you purchase it through my website, um, they get uh, their crate trained, beginning house training. Crate training starts at six weeks. You come and visit your puppy for an hour. Here's one over here that's uh, the guardian girl going potty on the paper. Uh, that's Paisley. So anyways, you get, um, um, we start the crate training at six weeks till they go home. They're very crate friendly. They love their crates. They also go home with a crate mate, a big fat stuffed animal. And we teach them, the trainers teach them to sit and lay down. So we show you how, what a quick study they are and that this is a smart breed and they learn. 
So you you get a little demo made with your puppy sitting and laying down, and we show you how that works. So it's there's a lot of hands-on with these puppies. There's no breeding outside, no kennels. Everything's done in the home. So if you're interested in one of these, please go to my Contact Us tab, and um, I will be happy to... Um, have uh, send back the information that you need, my introductory letter and puppy application, and then you have it and you do what you'd like with it if that's the case, if you wanted to purchase or not. So you'd submit that and get on my wait list. My wait list is, I believe, at seven families and growing. So, And I have a litter that's due uh, August, middle of August, which is my Darcy and Dublin, and um, we're excited about that. That's her first litter followed by my Breezy, who is being bred this week to keep her. So we should have lots of puppies coming down the pike. Anna, can you come here? There's my Anna. She's the mama to this litter. Can you let her sneak in there, Julia? Come on, Anna. Anna, come. So there's Anna, all happy to see everybody's in there with her baby. She's just doing great, starting to wean her puppy. So it's all a good thing right now, very natural course. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great week. Thank you.